the Nachis. Nickel City's finest. All right. Buffalo, New York. All right, so we're back after our intermission, and we're coming into the tag team gauntlet match. The winner of this match will receive a tag team championship match at the next show, which is Forward March. It will be taking place exactly one month from today on March 23rd. Four weeks from today, the only month where you can actually do this, where it's the same date. So Frank and Dan, who we've already seen out here tonight, helping out Pierre Vachon while he was getting his uh, dirt stepped on. Uh-oh. So I wonder who the audience is gonna favor here because they seem to like the Nachis pretty well after what happened earlier, but these are a couple of old fan favorites. Made in Black! Lance, Lance Wade, Mainbell and Benjamin, Benjamin Blackwell. Blackwell. Jinx, show me a beer. Here, have some green drink. I refuse. That is terrifying. Okay. Maiden not, Black not having a great time in the tag team ranks recently. Well, they weren't having a great time in the singles ranks either, so. Fair enough. But their, uh, their last win came at the Clash Before Christmas when they teamed up with, interestingly enough, Pierre Vachon. The Nachi Mafia is making their second appearance here. Their first appearance was against the Zaylee Group two months ago, was it, at this point? Yes. Yes, it was at uh, New Year's Bash. And they were actually interested in coming in last month. We just didn't have a spot for them on that show. But this time around, we do. And as far as I know, we will have a spot for them next month as well. So make sure to tune back in in four weeks. I think it's time to stir the sauce. Like Lance starting off against Daniel Nachi. Yep. The way I've figured out to figure out which one it is, is the one with the shorter name is the taller brother. Dan? Or Daniel. That doesn't work then, because Daniel's longer than Frank. Right, but Daniel's also the taller one. Yeah, but then my thing doesn't work. Unless you went Daniel and Franklin. In which case, Daniel, I guess, is still the shorter one. Taller one. I give up. They don't look anything alike, and they have very normal names, so it's pretty easy to remember. But you've taken a lot of chair shots to the head, so... A few. Ah, hey, we're going to stir the sauce. Looking for a test of strength that uh, I don't think Lance wants a oh. part of. Lance jumped up and got it, though. Blackwell looking less than impressed on the ring game. It's all me. It's like he has super hearing. Yeah, Dan is. Uh, Dan's definitely got Lance at a disadvantage here. Yeah, I am. And, oh, and he power. pulls him into a headlock. Hey, what's the matter for you? Well, that is one of the largest headlock takeovers I've ever seen. Not many people can do that to Lance. No, there's a lot of weight in the midsection of Lance that makes it very hard for you to pull him off the center of gravity. Lance is working himself back up. Oh, he gives him a shot to the ribs. That's one way to lose grip. Well, hey, you know what? Lance has never been the most technically gifted, but you know what? When it's time to get roughneck, he's there. And, nope, oh, he's got back to the test of strength. And now that he has a slight advantage, pulls him, and there! Now Lance has the headlock on. Now Lance with the side of the headlock takeover. Keeping a lot of that weight. <laughs> centered on the head of Dan Nagy. All right, Daniel reversing with the head scissors. Yep. They're gonna hit scissors on Lance. Lance trying to kick his way out of this. Almost. Maybe one more. And he escapes. All six for nope. eight of Daniel Nagy. Yep. That's a big man. That is a big, big man. That is a house. 
Lance has a rear waist lock. Pulls him around. Ooh. He's got him in a key lock here. Lance backing himself into the corner. Could be looking for that tag to Blackwell. Blackwell with the tag. Coming in. Taking his time and just a kick right in the ribs. What a stiff shot. So now this is a gauntlet. This is just the first, right, so first match. You can't make this a sprint. You have to bend. Well, that was unfortunate. You can't make this a sprint. You have to pace yourself for the long run. There are at least four teams in this. Four teams were released on the commercial. These are two of them. The other two that were released were the Mutts and the Stepdads. You know, but you can't let this match go long. The longer this match is, the worse it is for you. Yeah, these guys unfortunately drew the short straw here because either one of these teams is going to have to win at least three separate matches, basically, in order to have a shot at becoming the TIW champions. Tag team champions. Not the other two champions. Those are exclusive to the Fun Boys. I don't know if they're exclusive. Well, no one's going to beat the Fun Boys anytime soon. Look what at that drop kick. kick! Wow! That was beautiful for him. I thought that was it. Frank Nachi, unfortunately, still not able to keep Blackwell down with that, but beautiful drop kick nonetheless. Taking him up to his feet and a big European uppercut, which I guess since they're Italian is correct. Or S Sicilian uppercut. I'm sorry, is Sicily not part of Italy? Come on, Black. Not really. Are you sure? Shall we go to the map? We're pretty sure. Isn't that it, the little island that the boots kicking? It, it's like Schenectady for the rest of, you know, the category. Blackwell firing up. Chopping the big man down. And he's not even the big man. They're both. Oh! Bad. Flying knee from Blackwell. Trying to sneak that cover in. Nope. Wasn't able to hold him down. Neither one of these teams is able to gain a clear advantage so far. Frank and Daniel Nashi are still relatively new. They're still rookies in this business, but they're brothers. They like long. Right. You know so the deal you I, with you and, and Damon Rabbit. Yes, I'm, I'm well aware of the talking point of brothers are make the best tag team partners because they've been tag team partners their whole lives. But Lance and veteran Blackwell have been doing this for a long time. Lance and they've Blackwell. They've seen everything. They've been in wars. Yep, these guys have been on the same sides of battles on many, many occasions in many different companies. Uh, not just in the wrestling draw. business, in the personal life as well. These guys are very good friends. And... Hopefully this is going to allow them to move forward. Blackwell with a claw to the ribs. I believe there's too much rib there to keep that pressure alive. Frank fired back, right to the stomach. Giving him some shots there. And there's that big European again. Or should we call it the Sicilian? Sicilian. Okay. Because eventually he's going to hit what I like to call the Sicilian death, where he throws someone through the roof. And then catches them on the way down. Oh, that. are you sure about that? Because Blackwell just drilled a knee into the side of his head. It's gonna happen. And he looks like he might be comatose at this point. Blackwell admonishing Blackwell. Blackwell uh, taking full advantage of the five count. Lance measuring him. Yep, Lance setting up for a big line and boom! That forearm inside the skull. And those chest chops. Backing him into the ropes. Sends him in. Nope, countered. Lance comes off. Oh, ducks the line. Kick. Gonna send him again. Blackwell well, saving the lives of these two small girls with cameras. With yes. Ever inside. Well, that was kind of strange. Blackwell grabbed Lance's leg. He was probably trying to stop his momentum. He looked away. Oh! What's going on here? They're stirring the sauce. He's stirring the sauce. Stirring the sauce. Oh! oh a 
kick. Oh! KO. Black was Black walking away. Was leaving. What was that about? Blackwell just watched as his friend got pinned. Blackwell maybe blaming himself for that, causing his his team their spot in this gauntlet. Yeah. What the hell, man? Lance not too happy. What the hell? He's apologizing, so I guess it wasn't intentional. He's a pirate, so you can't trust him. Are you sure? I, well, whatever. All right. Uh oh. Okay, these guys weren't announced. So remember when I told you someone was going to be thrown through the ceiling? Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. It's going to be both of them. I was about Well, uh, that's the end of Corey Miller. Corey Bush. Corey Bush. Well, it doesn't Miller. matter. It, 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 oh. It. oh, and it's time to stir the sauce. And they're stirring the sauce. Oh! And the sauce has been stirred. And so is Sean Miller's brains. And now I'm stuck doing this. Well, I'm not a professional bell ringer. They, uh, they tried. Give him an A for effort. Well, it's better to have lived and lost. Oh, this is Brattlebrook Brett, their manager. Where were you? What's up, sir? Get back. Well, that did them no good. No, it didn't. Uh oh. All right, well, this is going to get interesting. And here we go. The third team in this is the Mutts. Where's Ian Griffin? I don't know. You can never tell with these guys. They could be coming from anywhere. Somebody check into the ring. Oh, and he chop blocks him. Oh. Oh, great match to plow the ring. Augustus Leone and Ian Griffin tearing it. I can't even tell which Nachi that is that, right now. They that, had hands all up in his mouth. That's Frank. That one's Frank. Yes, yeah, you can tell by the huge tattoo across his black shoulders. Oh, and he's stomping his chest. Well, unfortunately, Frank's been... They've got him all on his lonesome. Dan is currently outside the ring. Frank doesn't even know where he is. His eyes just rolled back to his head when he hit the turnbuckle. The there. double foot choke. All right, August Leon getting out of the ring. Ian Griffin staying in, throwing some shots. He's rubbing that stubble on his forehead. Snap bear down. Oh, sandwich super kicks. I think Frank might be out. One, two, no, oh, oh, wow. Dan's in a world of pain out there. Yeah, just barely getting back up on the apron. Just drilling it, head runs over and over again. A vicious attack by the wolf, by the seven. The savage wolves? The savage wolves by the mutts. <laughs> I don't think the Savage Wolves are here this evening. There, there's, there's too many K-9 references around here lately. <laughs> Savage Wolves have a team together here in almost a year. Well, anyway, we've got the Mutts, not the Savage Wolves, putting a hurting on Frank Nachi. Oh, and a big clothesline in the corner. Two, three. Oh, no. The speed of August Leon, way too quick. He went to the well too many times there. August Leon with a big forearm in the corner. It's over. It's over. Kill him. Griffin calling for it to be over. Oh. Slips the ropes. Forearm of his own. Pushes it back. Slingshots in. Up onto the second rope. Diving European uppercut. 
We've got August Leon draped across the middle rope here. Did he say Sauce 1 9? Sauce 1 9. And that was the Sauce 1 9 into German Suplex. What a German. He just got folded off. And Ian Griffin wasting no time. He knew it was over there. Out he goes. But he saved the match for his team. They're going to stir the sauce again. For the third time. Three. Could we see the Nazis get this? Oh, he went right to the eyes. He's in his eyes. That's one way to get out. Ian Griffin's got the bat. What's he going to do with it? Super kick, and he takes him out with the leg. Took the bat to the back of his knee. Dan Nachi on the floor, clutching at his leg. Frank still hasn't recovered. Oh. Griffin picking him up. Oh, no. Are they going for the Munzer driver? Oh! That's it. It's got to be. One, two. Three, it's over. Ring it. Don't ring it. It's not over. The months have been eliminated. The months haven't been eliminated. No, not the months. Those are the, the Nazis. Excuse me, the Nazis have been eliminated. Yeah, good job, Moron. Yeah, Moron, good job. Times like this I miss Peruzzi. And I'm over it. And, and who's the next team? I don't know. Is there another next team? The Mutts are ready for them, whoever they are, though. What a great showing by the Nachi Mafia, though. Yeah, they got two teams out of here and almost were able to take out the Mutts if it wasn't for that baseball bat attack. So who's the next team? And there they are. If there is a team that is favored by this audience, it will be the stepdads. The dignified, then the stepdads, then insanely rude. And there they are with their tag team of the year trophies. Well, the Mutt's wasting oh, no time. Coming back. Big shots. Yeah. August Neal whipped into the corner. And here comes Radley with that big splash. Oh, no, this is a big splash. Snap Maram over. Kick to the spine. Kick to the chest. And another splash. Radley, the legal man. Oh, and the shaky leg knees. Ian Griffin, nope. Pulling him out by the eyeballs. Drag him in the corner. What great teamwork. There's a tag, and Griffin is now the legal man. Driving his head and chest into that middle turn. Choking him in the corner. Choking him in the corner. Yep, there it is. There's that choking in the corner I was just talking about. Papa Bear trying to get in. Timmy V cutting him off. Because that's believable. Tim Bakula could stop uh, Papa Bear Wade Kruger if he really wanted to. Well, if he respects his authority. Well, and, I, and I guess he did. Yeah, well, that's the thing about the stepdads. Stepdads try to obey the rules to the best of their ability. You know, except for the time they used those brass knuckles against the Dignified. They did not use the brass knuckles against the Dignified. It was in the paper where Wade Kruger tried to hide it. Yep. Wade Kruger tried to hide it. I, I remember a very different match, my friend. Well, you weren't doing commentary. You weren't out here. I had a much, much better vantage point. Fine. Whatever you're going to take yourself to sleep at night. We can go back. We can watch that on YouTube. We can see what they did. Yes, please. Go back and watch all of our matches on YouTube. Which is probably where you're watching now. Got him in the backbreaker position. Demolition and elbow. Oh. Well. One, two, and nope. That's not enough to keep Wade down. That's not Wade. That's Red. I think I had too much of this green drink. You have. You should put that away. Yeah. You've been 
sipping that sauce instead well, of stirring it all night. He left it out here. I didn't want it to go to waste. Sends him into the corner chest first. And, oh, he ducks the boot. Makes the There's tag. the tag to Papa Bear. King Griffin still hung up on the ropes. August Papa Leone. Bear ducks the line. And there's the big Papa Punch. Get out of here. Mike Tyson like rights. We're going to see another German. Stunner. Stunner. German. And that's it. One, two, three. And the Mutts have been eliminated. For real this time. I think there's one team left. Well, yeah, we haven't had any music play, so and there's been no bell yet. So do we have anyone else in the back? Any other teams want a shot at this? Who's coming? They're waiting for the months to leave. What? I know that music. I do too. These guys haven't oh. been seen since oh, I last June. I got a chill. Probably because they don't pay the, the heat in the building. But nonetheless. I give up. It's the main it's state the main posse. State posse. The thickest skull north of the wall. And the, go into town on Papa Bear this with This is it. the last team to defeat the stepdads in TIW. Besides the Dignified. Shut up. This is one of the greatest teams. I'm going to point out that the Dignified today. did not beat the stepdads. Oh my god! You can point out whatever you want, but if you look at the record books, the Dignified beat the stepdads. Their title defense. And no. Nope. Rad Daddy refusing to stay down. Rad Dave? Daddy. Danger kid putting the boots to, to Radley Belmont. I like the way they've been shifting turnbuckles this whole match. Corners just keep moving. Whatever. You know, I was able to see a couple of these matches, but that that's done now. Well, looks like the Main State Posse might have this well wrapped up. No, oh, it's just standing on his throat. They're very fresh. They're they are. very dangerous. They haven't been here in a long time, and they've got something to prove. Could you imagine if the Main State Posse is gone since June, comes back, wins contendership and takes the tag titles for the Dignified. Well, that won't happen. Well, they could definitely win contendership. That's actually what I have my money on, but they're not beating the Dignified. Not this or any other like that. I don't know. I think if there's a team that could beat them, other than the stepdads who already have... It, it would probably be Ryan, Duke, and Classic Elbow Street. I, you know, you live in a bubble, don't you? No, I live in the real world. It's fantastic. You enjoy it here. It's not, nothing about this is the real world. Got Alexander Lee in the ring here right now with Randad, Bradley Belmont. Just putting the beating on him. Oh, and the audience is kind of behind the Main State Posse. They missed him. They haven't seen him in a while. It's nostalgia. And the Main State Posse always puts out amazing matches. All right, well. Alexander Lee. Lee. Double drop kicks. And an elbow drop, going for the pin. That was not a good pin, that was very lackadaisical. If you want to beat the stepdads, you're gonna have to really try with your pins. Brad crawling, tra crawling for the corner. Danger kid just taunting him. Just getting a psychological advantage, letting him think he has a chance to make the tag before jumping Dragging him back, dragging him back. Oh, we got another tag over here. Picking him up. Double arm ringer. 
Double Northern. Oh, double Northern Lights. One, two. Nope, Bradley refusing to stay down on that. Can you believe the resilience of Bradley Milton? He doesn't stay down. Papa Bear, though, getting that audience into this. The step dance, he needs to make the tag. He needs to tag in Wade. If Wade can get in there, Wade's got a shot against these guys. Because while these guys are brutal, vicious, and definitely great wrestlers, the both of them don't equal the size of Wade. Not even close. They, they would need to bring in Aiden Agro, and then I think they might be able to balance out. Things. They're going for that again. Depending on the phases of the move, they would. Oh, but he's, no, he's fighting it. He's fighting it. Blocks elbows it. his way out. Elbows his way out. Going, diving for the tag. Not making it. Not making it. Shoved off. Oh! Caught him with the clothesline, but Danger Kid taking slides out. Yep. Pulling him up. And oh. an Insiguri kick! And the tag! Here comes Papa Bear! Gives him the thump in the corner. Big clothesline. Picks him up. Oh no, battering ram! Oh! Counters. You're grounded! Oh, got those Waititi's. Waititi's. Boy, tiny's. That's that's the new gimmick. <laughs> the Moy Tini's. Oh my God, that was a variant on a suplex that I have never seen before. It could. That's the end. Oh, it broken up at the last possible second by Alexander Lee. My throat is wild right now. I need a drink. If you haven't seen the main state posse before, you need to go back and watch that 16 ladder match. That 16 ladder match was one of the that craziest was things I've ever seen. Top four match of the year last year, and I'm shocked it didn't win. Danger Kid went. Are they going for it on the big man? Tables or 13 ladders? They're trying. Revit I'm not sure they can make this. Oh, they, oh, they got him off his feet. Nope. Shoves Danger Kid off. Bradley Belmont Locked. is still on his. Oh, the look at those here. forearms. Punch to the face. Danger Kid's going to the top rope. That did not work out well for him. Papa Bear got him set up on the corner. Papa Bear, Papa that, Bear going up the ropes with him? Can the, is the ring reinforced enough for this? I have no idea, but there's... Oh, nope. Lee is coming in. He's going for that power bomb. Oh! Danger Kid look, probably looks that sent on. Nope, double, double stop, stop from the top rope. It's over. Oh, my God! Wade Kruger out at the last possible second. Bradley Belmont was trying to make the save, but he can't even get to his feet out here. He's trying. He's doing his best. Danger Kid can't believe it, neither can I. Forearms in the back. Yep. Hooking him up. Oh man, they're going for that lung blower senton combo. Bradley Belmont in. Oh, European uppercut to the back of the head. Counted around. Crucifix driver! Danger kid on that middle turnbuckle. Oh, we're oh, they're going for the Father's Day device! The Father's Day device. Ah! That's it. With the cover. One, two, three, it's over. Ring it! Well, the stepdads just punched their ticket to another title shot and another loss to the Dignified. So the stepdads have one contendership against, you guessed it, the 
Dignified like next I, show. Like I said, they punched their ticket to another loss to the Dignified. They're, they're better They're better off grappling that off. I don't, Whoa. Speaking of scumbags. Uh, is the, the Dignified, they're, well, they destroyed that chair over Wade Kruger. Come on! What is this? Another chair shot. Just going, going to on? town. Come on! Ring the bell! Well, like Jamar just said, he's done being nice. He's he's over this. And security. Oh no. This is a board from the back. Use that to fix the walls that. Angel well, Cross is usually thrown break. through. What's he going to do? He's oh, run right no! Oh! Now you're Bradley's doing, hurt. You're doing a good job. You're doing a good job. Bradley's they can hurt. handle it. Bradley's yeah. hurt. Yeah, let it happen. Let it go on. Your security is way more important than the stepdad there at this point. Oh! Oh! A second concerto. Come on. Someone needs to get that old man out yeah, of there. Yeah. Or someone ends up being an orphan. Well, it's Timmy V out of there. Well, the stepdads, uh, they get their title shot next month, right? Yeah. Oh, Nick Zeno should get in there. They wanted their title shot again. They got it. Oh, he's going to break the arm of Wade Kruger? Oh, so they're just going to break the head of Wade Kruger. I guess we had a recount and the dignified of the 2018 Tag Team Champion or uh, Tag Team of the Year for TIW. Yeah, they only were the Tag Team Champions. You are not incorrect about that. However, also, Dominguez has just, and they've taken. This is terrible. This is absolutely awful. I don't think so either. I agree. I'm, I'm nauseated by this. All right, see, now, now they're doing their job. Good job. Can we, uh, 
Can we get a, a squeegee to get them out of there? I don't. This is one of the most brutal things we've ever seen in the history of TIW. It's a new day. New regime. Honorable forever. Proved a point. Bradley's arm. Wade hasn't moved. 